Let's welcome in North Alabama and the Tennessee Valley. Uh, games two and a, if game three, uh, potentially on the docket for the Hartsville Tiger baseball team as they try to navigate a way to potentially bring home a 6-8 state crown. Uh, they lost their first game 14-3 yesterday, today, uh, looking to try to uh, move to a game of two, but more importantly, a game three. And they indeed did just that, winning game two, 10-3 uh, uh, in route to a uh, game three. Uh, obviously, uh, heavy hearts for the Hartsville community as uh, legendary head coach William Booth died earlier this week. The team uh, looking to try to uh, bring home a big blue map and a state title for the first time since 2022 or earlier this afternoon. And unfortunately, the amazing run came up just short. The Hartsville Tigers did win game two, but would fall in game three. Uh, still in an amazing run uh, after some tough circumstances for the Hartsville community uh, this week. The proud community of Hartsville, Alabama also coming to show their support today in Jacksonville. An added bonus for such a gritty Tigers baseball team. Uh, I will say this, um, Hartsville, Alabama is very special. For us to get 10 run ruled last night and for our people in our community to show up today after showing up earlier in the week to watch our girls softball team and then not even knowing if the rain was going to hold off and for them to come the way they did and, and just kind of wheel our team to continue to have a competitive spirit says a lot about our town, says a lot about our school and the culture that we have there, which is really, really special. I've been playing for Coach Miles for a long time and I loved it. So it was just awesome. He taught me who I am today, especially in the field. I just want to thank him for that. An emotional week for the Hartsville community. A special moment for assistant coach Jake Miles today. Miles gave the game ball to coach William Booth's son and his family this afternoon. He's a coach. And I think it's important to give respect to those people who have put a lot into our community. Um, they've had a hard time with their family having to deal with coach's sickness and for him to be here today to support our kids um, knowing that the funeral is tomorrow to me says a lot about him and their family and also how much they support our kids so why wouldn't I because we're not the head coach coach Booth's the head coach um, all of our assistants stepped up um, you know and so our team was led by our players and then we did what we could to serve, what we could do to serve them. So I thought it was only fitting for him to be recognized because it's, it's coach's team, right? I mean, it's, you know, and he's earned that respect. That's why. Carl Brather, 48 Sports, on your side.